Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Sky News Australia tweet. National Senator Matt Canavan has labelled Prime Minister Anthony Albanese as the biggest peddler of misinformation in the country. Stephen. After Dutton's brain fart the Nationals should leave the coalition or they would lose a lot of votes to One Nation. Press like for free speech and an end to the Labour, Liberal duopoly. Champions. So his dis and misinformation bill has to apply to Albo and his party as well as everyone, or you have to say Albo is just being a hypocrite for bringing the bill to the parliament, and it also should be debated. Bernie Snoke. Right on the money Matt, good to see one person in the libs and nats with the balls to call him out. There are plenty of good people in the parties but the linos are drowning them out. Keep up the good fight. Kaidi Katz. National Senator Matt Canavan is wrong. Sky News Australia is the biggest peddler of misinformation in the country. And that's a fact. Had enough. This is so true. Rules for us but not for them. Dictatorship. We used to be horrified at countries that did these sorts of things. Now we have become one. Proud to be a prol. A bit rich coming from Canavan and Sky Gossip, the media arm of the LNP. When was the last time they commented on when a teal, green or ALP? Blasted someone in the LNP. How many times daily? Real Aussie Patriot. Had Australians not had access to online information revealing with a voice I'm pretty sure it would have passed and we would have been saddled with the consequences. Discuss. This in itself is misinformation. It's not Albanese. It's probably not even Canavan but WM would be in the mix. Warm favorite has to be Babbitt. Closely followed by Roberts. Sadie Winter. Canavan, who omitted $2 mil of property on Declaration of Interest 2019, lied about the connection of AUS bite oil and prices, fails fact checks in rants about solar power, claimed NSW power prices had gone up 5x the average because a coal plant part closed. Glass houses and all. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.